Hey gang, it's that time of day. It's time for Fit and Fun. I'm Missy Kane. Glad you're tuning in. And today we're doing some things that I really am excited about because I need to learn more about some yoga poses and some back care exercises we can all do. Let's do some shoulder shrugs right now. And things for our core. Everybody needs to be strengthened in the core. And so I've got uh, an expert as far as food, Sierra Chinati. How's that? Did yeah. I do pretty good with that? Sierra, yeah. um, tell everybody what you do. I am a registered dietitian at Fort Sanders Regional. Okay, and you also enjoy taking? I also take hot yoga. Okay. Almost you, daily, and I really enjoy it. Where do you take that? Um, there is a new place in Knoxville called Real Hot Yoga, and it's um, in that Toys R Us. Over by Eddie's Health Shop, mm -hmm. yep. where uh, our marathon team goes a lot. We've yeah. got a picture we're going to put up because Sierra this year is working with our biggest winner team. We also feature uh, a lot of the biggest winners on our fit and fun show here on PBS and you've enjoyed getting to know some of the uh, clients I would say or yeah. team members and they're doing great they are um, we've had somebody lose about 40 pounds already so well, not that many months so in almost two in two months yeah All right. so let's do some big old arm circles while we're talking um what are your basic uh, tips that you're telling the biggest winner team including clients that you see um, well, a lot of people skip breakfast, so including you, right? I know, that's right. So, I'm working on that. <laughs> um, I am trying to get people to eat breakfast every day, and that helps to boost their metabolism. Um, they burn more calories throughout the day. And then um, we look at how often they're eating. Um, a lot of them either skip lunch or slow circles, they go yeah. um, all day without eating food. So trying to get them to eat more frequently and then we're looking at fueling for their exercise so they're preparing right. for a half or a full marathon and they may not be fueling properly um, the right types to get, of foods. to get them right. through the exercise yeah well I think that's so what you said too and, and speaking to me is that I used to just grab my coffee and grab something quick in the morning and I'm trying to have some oatmeal or things like that because don't you think that'll help your metabolism the yes. rest of the morning? Yeah, it, your body's in a fasting state when you sleep. And so um, you need to break that fast and get your body, you know, burning calories. It's, it's like a car can't drive without gas. Your body can't, you know, can't function without fuel and food is our fuel. Right. We've got some tips on that, Sierra. I've got them here on my set. They're um, um, Get Fit with Missy Kane, Missy Kane's Weight Loss Tips. Mm -hmm. And there's like moving more daily. Um, what Sierra talked about, a registered dietitian helped me with these. And she is a registered dietitian with Food City. But talking about more grams of fiber every day. It's talking about um, eat, more, um, eat more often, smaller yep. portions. So we'd be glad to send those to people. If they call in, They can. Um, we'll send them out. Because those tips, maybe putting them on your refrigerator, Will remind us yeah. of, of not skipping meals and all that. Yeah. All right. Now, Sierra's going to help me. There's our Fit and Fun Hotline, 541-4500. You can find out more about the things we're talking about. Also, the biggest winner team. You can follow what they're doing um, as far as their guidelines to exercise. Now, I need to learn more about yoga. Um, and I love fitness and all that, but my back gets tight, Sierra. Mm -hmm. And so you say some of this helps. And I was going to start out, don't you think some of the warrior poses are, are pretty easy for everybody yeah, to learn? I would say so. And you can correct me too. We're going to be on our mats here. But what we're going to do is just step out. And it's kind of like a lunge type of step. And then in this position, we're going to bring our arms up overhead. And besides some strength work, and it's really great on balance. Yeah, this really helps with your balance. Um, if you feel comfortable or your back allows, you can add in a slight back bend and look up towards the ceiling. Um, okay. But you just want to make sure that your front knee doesn't go over your toe um, so you don't put any stress on your knee. And I, after a few seconds, you can tell it really is working on that balance. I'm working those toes trying to get my balance here. Well, and the other thing you can do, see my left foot? Is you can down? put your heel to the ground okay. and almost put your toe out about 45 degrees. Okay. Yes. They, okay, there you go. That's better. And we're getting a little stretch, too, with our um, calf, our back leg. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to hold that a few more seconds. And there's Warrior 1 and Warrior 2. So basically to go into Warrior 2 could we just let our arms come down like this it's kind of like we yeah but you also pivot Turn on your this. back foot yep so your two heels are are actually in line and you're still lunging into the front foot and then your arms are out and you're looking over your front um fingers 
And while you're you're watching Sierra, you can see it's a you know, lower body strength, but you guys try this with us. Don't just watch us because after a few seconds, your deltoids, your shoulders are going to really be contracting and you're going to get some strength in that. Area. Your arms feel it because you're trying to push um, forward, but then also lengthen backwards with, through your hands. Um, but my right quad is burning right now. Yeah. And you, you're a little bit lower. And you can, that's the thing too, you can adjust this. I know um, Body Works, I'm using um, one of their t-shirts that Body Works in the community. And they do a little of this, but they do senior work too. Mm -hmm. Also at Fort Sanders, where the team works out, they have yeah. some senior yoga. Now, Sierra, from this, can we do a little bit of a triangle pose? We could come down with our right hand, come down a little bit and go over like this? Yes. So you can, there's two different okay. ones we could do. You could do a side angle where right. your front leg is still bent and you come inside. Um, so your your right elbow is on the inside of your right knee and then you're looking up. And y'all can notice you can also, a little lower. You're yeah, a little you, lower than me. And then you can also rest here if you're starting to get tired. Um, and then, do you want to keep doing this one or you want to see the next one? Yeah, let's go into the other one where the The other one would be bent. to, to mm -hmm. straighten and then you're just reaching down. Some people can reach their foot or their ankle. Some, and I'm doing my shin. Yeah, some are up on their shin or, or even their knee. Um, and then you're just trying to rotate and look up over your left shoulder. And this is, I can feel it my inner thigh. Mm -hmm. And even a little bit at the back of my hamstring. Yeah, I'm getting a good hamstring stretch. A few more seconds, everybody. And let's come back to Warrior, warrior Two. Mm -hmm. And we'll just kind of come back through the sequence here. Warrior Two. And then come back together, turn that foot, come back together with Warrior One. How often do you say you do yoga daily? Um, yeah, I probably four to five times a week. Oh, that's great. I know exactly where you go to. Eddie's Health Shop, Eddie Raymond, has been so instrumental in the Covenant Health Council Marathon, really mm -hmm. getting it off the ground uh, eight years ago. And um, my daughter works for Eddie, and oh. he's just a, a wonderful guy in town. Yeah, he's really Right great. next door to you guys. And relax. Let's relax that. And then we're going to do the same. We want our to be even. So we're going to start out and do the warrior on the other side. So we're going to take a step out lunge. And Sierra pointed out that we can turn that back foot a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, and you want to make sure that you don't roll onto the inside of your foot. You want to keep that, that whole foot on the ground and that keeps your leg engaged. Right. And how about our hips? Are we kind of trying to get our hips forward You're trying a to more? rotate forward mm -hmm. a little bit, yeah. Well, lady I went to with a, some of my back issues I had over a break said, this would be really good for me too because I need to strengthen this and get a little bit more rotation because I tend to go like this, so I need to pull it around. Yeah, and there's a lot of alignment, hip alignment, spinal alignment, and, and working on your posture. A lot of us, when we do this, we'll shrug our shoulders up, so you're trying to keep your shoulders down but still lengthen through your arms. Um, and I have horrible posture, so that's been really great for me. Um, working on spinal alignment. This is a great exercise for posture. I don't care what age you are. A few more seconds. Some deep breaths. And then let's let those arms go down. And again, Sierra was mentioning that we're going to change our foot a little bit. We want to mm -hmm. make it kind of perpendicular and strong arms. Good job, everybody. And we're trying to recreate hot yoga for Sierra because the East Tennessee PBS studio can be very warm. So. It's a little warm in here this morning. And that's what you want for hot. Why do y'all do, what, what's the heat for? So um, when yoga was, I guess, you know, invented or created in India, it's very hot there. Um, that's true. So when they brought it over to the United States, they started heating the studios. Um, and the real hot yoga studio controls the temperature and the humidity so they have a class that's about 95 degrees and wow. then they have a class that's 105 degrees but you're hydrating 40 percent humidity yep you hydrate okay. throughout okay we're going to go into triangle pose from here so we were here with warrior two mm -hmm. and then the first triangle pose we're going to do was with the the leg the leg bent split. side angle so you either come inside where your elbow is touching the inside of your knee or you can Make it rest easier. your forearm on on your knee or on your thigh. Now, when you're doing this, try it with looking back at your hand, and you get a little bit different of uh, stretch. Yeah, you're trying to actually rotate your upper body and get your chest up towards the ceiling. Oh yeah. 
few more seconds, everybody. Good job out there. And now we adjust that with our front leg. Like yep, this. and then you just reach down towards um, foot or ankle or shin. Yep. Still trying to rotate. The other thing with the heat is that you get a, a cardiovascular um, aspect. So okay, it's gonna raise you know, that heart your heart rate, rate gets mm -hmm. up pretty quickly. You're sweating the whole time. You're getting that detoxification. Um, and then you can also lengthen into the stretches a lot more because your muscles warm up a lot quicker. And back to that uh, triangle pose with the front leg a little bit bent for a few seconds. And now into warrior two. Good job. And you kids out there that are doing this, get mom and dad to, to join in. And you guys can also TiVo this and record it for another time. Because something like this would be great to do for 28 minutes and then later that day go for a 25 minute walk. More of these. Okay, now rotate that foot just a little bit in the back, and then we're going to come back up to Warrior One. Good job, everybody. Some deep breaths. And your good yoga instructors, too, are really good with the breathing and the mm -hmm. part of the Yeah, with yoga, they, they want you to focus on breathing in and out through your nose, um, and that helps to keep your you know, your heart rate from getting way out of control, but then you have control over your breath throughout the whole movement, so. And relax that, and we are going to take a little bit of a break, and I've got some water for you, because you said you do drink during your yoga classes. Yes. And that's one thing I know registered dietitians are big on, is fluid, and the right types of fluid. Yes, a lot of people um, are very dehydrated and they don't realize it. So I, that's one of the first things that we do, um, or that I do with most of my clients, is encourage water intake and increasing that, because most of the time they're lacking. Right, I know that's um, one thing I'm working on all the time. Uh, I know a little bit of, you did uh, exercise before the show, it's a little bit of a downward dog into something else. What was that move that you were Well, um, there's different types of yoga, so um, if you are doing more of a flowing, uh, type of yoga, they have what's called a chaturanga, where it's essentially a tricep push-up, your elbows stay in close to your body, and you come down, your core stays nice and tight. Now, if that's hard for you, you can drop your knees, I'll elbows do, stay I'll in. The, I'll be the nice person to show them the easier version. Okay? You want me to do the hard way then? You do the hard <laughs> way. <easier. laughs> so elbows stay in, core's nice and tight, and then you just push your chest up, and you're kind of opening up through your chest and shoulders a little bit, and you curl your toes under and you just push your hips up to the sky, and this is downward duck. Yep, and so with this one, you're trying to almost push with your hands, push your, sh your chest towards your thighs. And so that's gonna push your butt really up into the, the hamstrings, yes. yep, and then you're getting a great stretch in your oh calves yeah. and your hamstrings. That does feel good. A few more seconds, everybody. And then going back down, would we just go back down from here? Um, they're, they have different types okay. of flow. Sometimes you stand up, sometimes you go forward. Okay, a lot of the time, up. a lot of the time you go back into your warrior. Okay, back but into you warrior. Do you want to do that? Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> See, Sierra didn't know she's going to be teaching me. But I'm and like, I'm not a yoga, yoga, I'm not a yoga instructor. Because that's what I love. <laughs> okay, then this would go back down then, into. Well, then you would go through a flow, kind of okay. like what we did. So warrior two, the the triangles and stuff, and then um, you'd go back down into. Okay, show me that again for everybody out there too, as far as the, and you it called it the, what is it? Chaturanga. Chaturanga. Yeah. yeah okay. Like you want to see that again? I want to see that again, yeah. So. Um, and I'm going to do mine on my knees, okay? Okay, so you are going to come forward. We're going to do planks later. So essentially we're in a plank. Okay. Or your knees are down. Yep, elbows stay in. You can hover. So your elbows are out. Get your elbows oh, in. Get my elbows in. Okay. Yeah. And then <laughs> legs come down and you push up. And one of the big things they say, um, I used to do this a lot where I put a lot of stress on my neck. They want you to look forward. Okay. Look forward. Yeah. And then just push your chest out. And this can really help my low back because at this point it doesn't hurt, but I'm so much more inflexible than you. Mm -hmm. So we're working. And then from bit. here, if you didn't want to go into downward dog, you could push back into child's pose, which is a great stretch on your lower back. It oh, is good. Yeah. That feels good too. And you can also do a 
oh yeah, you're not flexible at all. No. <laughs> you could also go into a wide leg child's pose. So knees just come out, but your feet are still together. And then it's an active movement. So you're pushing your hands, trying to push them away from you, like forward towards the mat, and then push your hips back towards your uh, heels. Yes, for people that know me with my bad knees, that's it's um, a challenge. But see, you do what you can do. Right. And as long as I'm feeling that stretch, it's working on that. Yeah, and they have modifications in every yoga pose. So whether it's a knee issue or a lower back issue or something, there's always some other variety of the movement that, that you good. can do. So we yeah. can come, let's come up here. One part I like that you showed me, and everybody can we can follow along. So if you're standing in this position here and we came around mm -hmm. and went down into this thing, we could go in from here into your... Chaturanga? Yes. Yes. Right here. They say from here you can either walk your hands forward. Um, or for more advanced, you can show them that. Well, you can walk your hands forward from here. Um, sometimes there's even a, where you jump your feet. Right. Um, but for our point, and then I'm going to try to do it your way this time. So you can do it on your knees or you can come down like this. Elbows right? stay in. Yep. Like this. That's a plank. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so bring your hands back just a little bit so they're under your shoulders. Okay. Yep. And then from there, you just drop down. Drop down. And then you push yourself up. And like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that feels like. This is something I should do. You know, even 10 minutes during at nighttime would be mm -hmm. good for my low back. And, and not looking way up, but more forward, yep. right? And okay. then you can push into downward dog or child's pose. Okay. And for you, child's pose might be the better option for your lower so back. that's downward dog. Yep. And then child's pose is it's more like this. Just on your knees and then you sit back on your heels. Yep. Like that. Okay, I like that. I'm learning new things. Okay, water break. Oh, And okay. then when we come Good. back, we're going to do a few more planks and side planks, which is some type of a yoga pose, but also a lot of people do that. You know, athletes will do planks. Mm -hmm. I know the Lady Vol soccer team, track team, do planks mm -hmm. and side planks. It's kind of yeah. like the new power yeah. exercise. Yeah, we do planks in yoga. And so you can do planks. I'm going to let you do planks just on your mat. Okay. Or at home, if you wanted to, you could have a little bit more of an angle. And you could even, I told folks, they could even do it where if, if they have their kitchen, you're in the kitchen. A countertop, if you're a beginner, you could literally use the countertop in your kitchen mm -hmm. and try to get that body straight and still feel the core mm -hmm. right here. So we're going to start out doing easy planks. So I'm going to have, we're going to go down and you want I always four like arms? crane planks. Yeah. And we're going to hold it like this. And for our purpose, we're just going to do it for 20 seconds at a time. Okay. So you probably do it for minutes at a time. but I do, but that's okay. And the main thing here is you want to be like a board. Nice mm -hmm. and a lot of people will start to let their lower back sink here and you want to make sure that you keep your nice core and nice straight. and tight. Yeah. We got about ten more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, four, three, two, one. Relax and what we can do is come into this and do more like a cat stretch is probably a name that you do with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And pull that up. Good job everybody. A few of these. And then after this, I like bird dog a lot, opposite arm and leg. Mm -hmm. This is really good for that sacrum area in your low back. Good job, everybody. And switch sides. Other side. Good job. And that's just a little sequence we can do. We'll do another set. We're going to come back to your planks. And again, you can go... A little harder like Sierra is, or you can have a little bit of an angle. If you'd rather go up like this, you can. I like it down on my elbows, forearms, and nice, and hold that steady. Now, for advanced folks, I know they even go out and back with their legs, but for today, I'm just going to keep it in. We've got about six minutes. See, doesn't it go quick? It does go quick. Six minutes left that, or of it. a plank? Yeah. No, <laughs> six oh, minutes. Oh, yeah, that's to good. Six minutes left in a plank. No way. Five, four, three. Two, one, and all fours, and a little bit of that cat stretch. Pull and one thing you could also do here, they do this in yoga, it's called cat cow. So okay. you have the cat here. When you inhale, you drop your stomach like a cow, and then come back in here. You know, this, that helps this move too. is easy, but it is something that, that really, if people did this, could help that low back area. Again, yeah. come up with like the cats here was talking about. 
and then drop down into the cow. Yep. And from here, we're going to go into bird dog. You're going to be feeling this in the hamstring area, the rear end, the glutes. Any tips on this one? Um, don't flex your foot, so don't point your toe, but try to push oh, your heel straight heel back. Heel down. That's a good and stretch. And then you want to keep your, your uh, leg and arm in line. You don't okay. want one higher than the other. And that's it. That's be good for an instructor to come back. Right. We're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Other side, good tip from Sierra on keeping the heel pushing down instead of flexing like pointing heel down. Mm -hmm. How'd you get into yoga? Well, when I lived in Oregon, I tried it and I just really enjoyed it. I don't know that I would like yoga as much in just a normal temperature room because I'm a former soccer player. I like to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know that. I mean, you still get the benefits, but I just... I really like the heat aspect of it. Right. So you put them together and one class is 90 minutes long and you can burn up to like 600 wow. to 900 calories in 90 minutes. That is good. And let's go to a side plank and I'm going to let Sierra talk too about your work with the team. Uh, Brian's in studio getting ready to go. Um, what do you see as far as when people want to lose weight, what do they have to bring to the table to you? Um, well, I always ask for a food log so I can see what their normal, you know, eating habits are like, both what they eat and times. And then, um, unfortunately, a lot of it is what they're able to do on their own. I can give them the, you know, tell them what to do, give them a meal plan, but Relax. if they can't follow that at home or they don't have, you know, that willpower, it's hard for them to succeed. Right. Um, so you would think it would be really simple, you know, to just eat healthy. But if food is a comfort for you or a social thing, it, it can be very difficult to change your eating habits. And I find that, too, with our team, and my aspect as being their coach, is, is having goals. Mm -hmm. Saying, I want to do a half marathon or I want to be in a hiking group. Right. Um, and I think having those goals, we're going to come all the way to the other side because we're about running out of time. But we're going to do a side plank on the other side. So let's lift it up. And as Sierra lifts up, I forgot to show people, you can uh, modify this on your knees, kind of stack your knees instead of your ankles. I think it's almost easier this way. And if you want to, arm up in about 10 more seconds. And in yoga, you could do leg up. Wow. You can go for it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not talking right now. And four, three, two, one. Relax it down. And we're going to stretch that top quad. Sierra, what do you do at the hospital? Right. The hospital is a clinical setting, so I see people with pretty much every disease process, um, and a lot of it is diet education for a certain disease, um, and then we manage tube feedings and all of that. I sure can. So you take a big step and you want to lunge into this knee and then the back heels down and then you can feel a great stretch along the back of the straight leg. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's just all acute care pretty much. So if someone is sick or having like an exacerbation of COPD or, you know, or something, then they get put on a certain type of diet, maybe a sodium restriction. Um, and then we manage that from there. And we do have ICU, so you, we do get, you know, some fairly serious um, issues and what else? A lot of cardiovascular stuff, lots of diabetes, um, and but a lot of diet education for people who um, may not know how to eat with their disease process, so. It's very different from any kind of outpatient counseling or weight management counseling. Um, you still may get motivated people um, in the hospital, but it's not necessarily a proactive situation because they're ill and they're in the hospital um, versus someone, you know, or the, the biggest winner team where they are being proactive and they do want to make that change. And they may, they're pretty much healthy, essentially, you know, they don't have a disease.
Thanks.